Hey everybody, welcome back. Something old, something new, card rips. I'm Lance. Today we're finishing up our, we're doing a wax for Wednesday. So we're finishing up our 80, best of the 80s. So here we go. We did 81 through 85 last time when we first introduced the introduction of Fleer and Donners back into baseball or into baseball. So you had the big three then. And now we have 86, 87, 89. I do have some 88, I mean, I do have some score and some upper deck, but. For the purposes of this, we won't count them because they're not the big three. I also have some 89 Bowman over here. So if you looked at the last video, you can always go back and check it out. But just to recap, basically the 84 and 85 Donruss were the big hit, big winners. Uh, 84 and 85 Tops, you know, those look, are great looking sets too. Uh, the 86, 87 Fleer, those are, are nice on cards. 86 Really like the early 80. Uh, Fleer did really well matching up against Tops and Donruss. And then 88s, whenever really all the production numbers just super increased. So we got Fleer, Tops, and Donruss. So Donruss is the big winner last time. So we'll start off with Donruss this time for 86. So for 86, I got this. I got this uh, rack pack here. We got Tony Gwynn on the cover top there. That's a nice. Uh, so already it's a good pack. Uh, you this has got the subsets, the Diamond King subsets, and if, if you anyone's bought any 2020 Don Rush, you're pretty familiar with this 86 design. Uh, let's see. This is the big rookie here. Is we're looking for the Conseco. You also have the Fred McGriff, uh, no. O'Neill, and then you got like Lenny Dykstra, Andres Galarraga. Uh, you're looking for all the Hall of Famers too. Second year Roger Clemens card's a nice card. And that Tony Gwynn card's a nice card. Gripkins, Ryan's, Roses. So these look to be in pretty good shape. So these ones are kind of uh, 86 is when they started getting a little hard. You know, this these edges they hard to find them in pristine condition. But this rack pack actually looks really good shape. Let's just get it. So we get uh, three puzzle pieces in this one, or nine puzzle pieces. I guess you get three puzzle pieces per each one. Let's say Hank Aaron puzzle. So here's the design. There's the backs. These backs are look very familiar. They stuck with this same back for many, many years. So the blue color and everything. Five years of stats, career stats, career highlights, all that stuff. Steve Henderson. Really like this. Just come maybe feeling a little. There's a dot good, and that's a nice card. Really like this set. Just maybe feeling a little overloaded after wash open a bunch of 2020. And there's a Vita Blue, nice card. Open 2020 Donruss and seeing this over and over and over again. And it's nice that they. Oh, there's a Cecil Fielder. It's a nice card. First base DH. Reggie Jackson, Hall of Famer. Dickie Knowles, Dennis Martinez, playing for the Orioles. We played for the Expos. Tim Burke for the Expos, speaking of. Carl Best. Willie McGee, he had a pretty good career. Stolen bases. Bob Kipper, rated rookie. It's a cool looking card. How big the rated rookie was there. And our last pat or last side of that, Tony Gwynn. So that's in really good shape. Look at the corners there. It's really good shape. Bob Melvin, Jason Thompson, Rick Sutcliffe. There's a Diamond Kings. I was going to grab a couple of the 80s or 2020 Bruce Sutter. Oh, wow. <laughs> I said, there's a Bruce Sutter, but then right behind him, look at that. There's the Jose Canseco. Let's see how he looks. I centered pretty well. Now a little, little, little off left to right. Maybe that's the way the card's supposed to be. Is that supposed to be tilted? It's just the way the card looks. Yeah, maybe. Really, some pretty good centering. Back looks great. Corners look super nice. Maybe there's a little white there on the top there. That's a nice looking Jose Canseco. We will definitely take that card. Let's go ahead and. So leave him up right now since he's in great shape. We don't want to ruin him. So 86 Donruss looking good. Hopefully, uh, and then I pulled a big hit. I don't like 
I pull big. I mean, I like pulling the big hit, but now I, my head's going to be thinking, oh, 86 Donruss is the best. Pull the big hit out of there. <laughs> Let's go with uh, 86 Fleer. So value-wise, the 86 Canseco is probably your biggest hit you can hit out of the 86. We'll see what else we can get, though. 86 Fleer. Sorry, we like the blue side. Dave Winfield on there. Especially the, when you got these guys, the Brewers. Pete Rose. Shortstops of Supreme. Alan Trammell and Cal Ripken, Jr. That's another looking card. I really like these Superstar Specials. They have some pretty good. The 87 has some great ones, too. Ken Griffey Sr., George Brett. Uh, you see, the 86 Fleer, these are, if you look at the corner, the edge there. I don't know, maybe you can't really see, but it's got a little chipping there. Still a nice looking card. He looks pretty, did not look like, he did not like the call, whatever the call was on that. Well, it must have been called a strike because if it was a ball, he wouldn't have minded. Sid Fernandez, a sweet card. AL, NL West Sluggers, what do you got? Uh, Dave Parker, Steve Garvey, and Dale Murphy. It's a cool looking card. Mitch Webster, there's a sticker. Oh, Mets, nice one. Minnesota Twins. Juan Agosto. Lou Whitaker, that's a nice card. He had a pretty, he had a good career. John Franco, he did okay. Danny Heap, that's a good name. There's a Expos card. I always like the old Expos cards. That's got a thumbprint right in the center of that. Is that a thumbprint? Check that out. It is a thumbprint. Or a fingerprint, anyways. So I must have touched that when it was wet. There's a print there, too, on the bottom. A couple of prints on there. Maybe a search pack, but they missed the George Brett. Well, I guess I should have checked the back when I opened that. So there's the 86 Fleer. Oh, I didn't show you the backs. There's the backs of the 86 Fleer. So it's like the, a lot of these cards, they pretty much stuck with the same kind of backs for a few years before they switched it around and stuff. So, so, so far I'd have to say the 86 Donruss is ahead, not just because I pulled out the Jose Canseco, just I like the stripes a little more going on. I like the backs. I don't really like the backs of the Fleer, but I really like the set. Uh, also in the Fleer, the Fleer actually, this is the, have the inserts of the 12-card All-Star forms, and they have the future Hall of Famer inserts. So there's some pretty cool inserts in the 86 Fleer. We didn't get any. And I really like those. Like I said, I like those subsets. So 86 tops. So this does not have the Jose Canseco, but we have Fielder, Dykstra, Guillen, Reynolds. So not really big rookies here. We're really looking for like second year rook or Clemens, some Ryan, Nolan Ryan, those kind of guys. Another year that the tops, the Splacks, really hard to keep in. You know, something to get gym mint condition. And then they do this little swap a with their cards, too. Definitely takes you back. I really like the tops of these. I mean, these are really nice cards. Actually, I can show you the back. A lot of, oh, I picked a guy with a, a lot of stats there, Bill Russell. Really like the tops. Gives you all the stats. Definitely tops backs always win, win for me just because of the stats. And there's a the Raleigh Fingers. A little wax stain on the back there. So 86 style, I'd have to say 86 Donruss wins. Let me know if you agree, disagree. Okay, so we 86 Donruss uh, won, so we'll go with, I should go 87 tops. <coughs> oh, excuse me. So 87 tops, we're looking for no really big rookies. I mean, the set's pretty cheap. I mean, you got the Barry Bonds, that's the big guy. Barry Larkin. Bo Jackson. They just printed so many of these that there's not a lot of value there. Mickey Telton's got gum sticking to him. And we'll just leave that gum on there. That is really nasty looking gum. That one's been sitting in there for a while. Hopefully these cards don't have any. All right, oh, there's a Hall of Gary Carter on the front. That's a nice looking card. I never really liked the wood grain. It just doesn't really seem to fit with the picture to me. A lot of people really love the wood grain. So there's a John Crook. Size rookie, yep, that's his rookie card. Not bad. Let's see who else we got. Oh, wait, it's 86. I think, I think maybe he has an 86 card. I'd have to go back and check. Terry Kennedy, another Dave Winfield, 
Freak Depino. There's a Pirates Leaders card, Tracy Jones. So the backs of these, pretty much not much different, just the color change really. That's a really off-centered card, so it wasn't a very good. There you go. There you go. So there you go, just a color difference there. Pretty much the same thing, bunch of stats. There's an on the state card. So I'm not a big huge fan of the wood grain, but I know a lot of people love it. So we'll go next, 87 Fleer. We got a nice card on top there. So 87 Fleer, rookies, same thing, Bonds, Larkin, Bo Jackson, Will Clark, Ruben Sierra, John Crook. Uh, your second year cards. These are, I really like these cards, these superstar specials in these, uh, especially this Met. Uh, this is a good one. Greg Carter, Sid Fernandez, Doc Gooden, Keith Hernandez, and Daryl Strawberry. That is a sweet card. Definitely one of definitely one of the favorite cards I've seen so far today. So this has got this light blue. You see the backs, a little different color scheme, but pretty much the same thing, same style. It's got this little. He's got the stuff here. This is kind of cool. Pro Scout reports. Fastball, curveball. Are these all pitchers? And catcher. What does he got on the bottom? Oh, where he hits things. Fastballs. It's pretty cool looking. Ron Davis. I like this light blue. There's a Will Clark. Frank Viola. He had a good career. Barry Bonds. Whoa, this is a nice pack. Steve Trout. There's a Mariner sticker. It's pretty cool. Expos and Blue Jays. As far as the answers, I meant the extras, I guess. I mean, back when I was a kid, I loved the gum. Obviously, the stickers I was like, and I like to really like the stickers and put them on boxes and stuff like that. Not a big fan of the puzzle pieces. I mean, we come pieces. Oh, there we go. That's cool. On base percentage, I guess. Bought here Wade Boggs and Keith Hernandez. That's a sweet looking card. I like that one. Like I said, I really like their Superstar Special cards. I got some really cool photos. And there's a Doc Gooden. And uh, I was talking to Superstar. Fernando Valenzuela and John Franco. So that's a cool looking card too. So 87 Fleer for me. That's pretty sweet. I like the 87 Fleer. And I guess we pulled uh, some pretty good cards too. So I guess I should pull those out, huh? So, so far we got the, I'm not sure, the 87, if that's the big year or the big hit for the year. There's the 87 Barry Bonds. I can't remember if the 87 Donruss Bonds is worth more or the Fleer one is worth more. It's a sweet looking Barry Bonds though. Well, actually, let's go ahead and look at the condition. Uh, so, the centering doesn't look great. It looks like actually that's how it was there. This is actually supposed to be like that, where it doesn't have a totally center. Oh, maybe not. Let me check this one out. This one looks way better centered. Okay, so so yeah, the centering's kind of off there. Corners look great though. Back looks great. I look that corner looks a little dinged up on the back. Still a sweet looking car. So pull some nice. Oh, let me get these guys on there. They're nice done shining on there we go so one more 87 donra so 87 fleers yeah i'm picking the ones i've pulling the big cards out of them didn't want to do that yeah i don't even though I definitely like the 87 fleer but i like the 87 tops never was a big fan of the 87 tops even though i had a lot of in my collection growing up you know i didn't actually buy a lot of packs i don't think i think i just traded you trade a bunch Back then, you trade a bunch of commons. You just grab a handful and trade them to somebody else. So there's a Rob Deere. He's all dinged up. So here we go. 87 Don Russ. So we're looking for... This guy actually got Greg Maddox in it, so that's pretty cool. And then you got the Barry Bonds, Bo Jackson, Barry Larkin. Actually, guys, David Cohen. Oh, and there we go. Barry Bonds right there. So whether it's the 87 Don Russ or the 87 Fleer, we got both of them. And he looks like he's in really good shape. Centering looks really well on that side and on that side. The only issue may be this corner right there. I don't know if you can catch it. it. Might just have a little ding on it. So that's really good. Couldn't plan this any better getting all the top rookies. I really like to see the Greg Baddock's rookie personally. We'll put the Barry Bonds there. 
Actually, if I was going to pull any rook out of this, I guess I'd wait for the we open that 89 upper deck and I pull the Griffey. That would be a nice rip. Randy Hutt, though, I like that Expos. Love the old Expos cards. Vita Blue again. It's a puzzle piece. What's that doing down there? There we go. Andy Van Slyke. And Gary Templeton. Oh, there's the backs of these. So once again, you know, sticking pretty much to the same format for those guys. There's the 86, the blue that's changing the color up. Career highlights. At least they're giving you some stats, giving you some information there. There's a Fernando Valenzuela, Willie McGee. There's an Andres Galarraga. I think he was an 86 Don Russ. So that's not his rookie card. Cal Daniels, he was big back then. Look at that bat at 320 his rookie year. He was a... Definitely would have been a hot prospect. Or he was a hot prospect. I shouldn't say definitely. He was a, was a hot prospect. There's the Barry Larkin. Nice. So this is turning into uh, some really nice packs here. I did not anticipate. I anticipated pulling a bunch of commons. His corner there is not too good. Catch that there. This video's taking a little longer. Sleeving these cards up. Wasn't, oh, there's a Ricky Henderson. That's a sweet looking card. Yankees, Ricky Henderson, Mark Langston, he did really well, pretty well. I should say, I should say really well, but he did have, oh, there's the Greg Maddox. <laughs> nice. Oh, man. This is, we have the Larkin, we have the Maddox, and we have the Bonds. All we need is the Bo Jackson. Wow. We still got some cars left. We could pull the Bo Jackson. Let's check him out. He looks like he's in great shape, too. Well-centered. Love that mustache on him. His corners look good. He's pretty where he was at in the pack was really not. Yeah, that, great shape there. Okay, Bo Jackson. Here we go. Nope, not gonna get him. So still nice, nice packs. Doing really well so far. So 87. Whoa, shoot. 87, 87 Donners or 87 Fleer for me. Let's grab a. So we got the two Barry Bonds there. Hmm. I'm going to have to go with the 87 Fleer just because blue is my favorite color. So, I mean, I love how the black, the 87 Donner, I love how Donner went to the black 85, 87. Those are sweet looking cards. So, so once again, Tops is in the bottom. So, we'll start with that 88 Tops. So, I bought lots and lots of 88 Tops when I was a kid. 88 and 89 Tops. I had tons of this stuff. And so did everybody else, because there was tons of it out there. So we're looking, let's see, there's not really any value in this. Um, Matt Williams, mm, Ken Cam Caminetti, oh, Tommy Glavin, of course. But these are nice cards. I really like the 88. I mean, this might just be nostalgia speaking for me. Like I said, I had a tons of these. There's the, here's a Bo Jackson 88 tops. That's a nice card. It's not his rookie card, but sweet looking card. It's a cool color. And there's their gum. Oh, that doesn't look too bad, actually. Not going to eat it, but for how old it is, this looks great condition. There's a Wally Backman. There's a George Brett. Nice. There's the 87 Record Breakers. I love this card. I think that's... Is that Ricky Henderson and Don Madley? I'm pretty sure that's Ricky Henderson. But even though it's a Don Madley Record Breaker. Was that a Grand Slams he hit? Yep, Grand Slams. Loved that card when I was a kid. Frank Tanana. Cecil Fielder. He started hitting the home runs yet? Nope. Hadn't had the big seasons yet. Lloyd McClendon. Roger McDowell. Kevin Mitchell. Also hadn't started lighting it up yet. So there's the 88 tops. You guys see the backs there? So a little different color. I really like the backs on the tops. Like I said, Toss backs are always pretty nice. Let's go with... Well, 88, I'm going to tell you that 88 Donners is not going to win. Might just because I really don't like opening this because I've opened so much of this. But for the purpose of this video, we'll go through this. So 88 Donruss, we're looking for... What's he? Gray, Mark Grace, Tommy Glavin. You know, same guys, basically. But this does have the uh, <coughs> Mark Grace that was a big one back then. Mark Grace rated rookie. There's a Doug Drabeck. There's a Dale Murphy. 
So not much in that pack. And there's the back, so it's just the same as the other backs. Now I'm mixing it up there, Donruss, but... Actually, yeah, I just got the blue. They're not that bad. Just maybe it's just an overload for me with the 88 Donruss. I'd have to say 88 Tops is in the lead. But back then, I really loved the 88 Fleer. Just thought these were pretty looking cards. Let's see, Royal Sticker. So 88 Fleer. You're looking for the same guys. This has got the Edgar Martinez rookie card. That's the big one for uh, this year. And then the same other guys. Tim Cruz. Rock Reigns. That's a nice looking card. Expos card. Brett Sabrehagen. He had a good career. Kurt Stillwell. Jesse Orozco. Mike Witt. Not too bad. And a Rick Shue. So nothing out of the 88. Clear. <clears throat> for me, it's between the 88 Fleer and the 88 Tops. I'm going to have to say 88 Tops. And I just really like this. This is a clean design. Just Mets. you got the team name there. I mean, this is artistic and everything, but I just really like this. So, let me know if you agree so far. So, we got 86 Donruss, 87 Fleer, 88 Tops. Now, last set, 89. We have 89 Fleer, 89 Tops, 89 Donruss. And then we got our bonuses. Oh, wait a sec. I got to open up the 88 score. I almost forgot. And then, okay, 1988 score jumped into the mix. And they way overproduced these cards. But these are like, these are like totally 90 styles cards. The, the colors on these. And this is the first box I ever got was a pack of, or a box of 1988 score. Got from Christmas in 1988. So you got, they had did 110 color, color, color cards of each color. So it's a 660 card set. So there's six colors. The purple, the blue, the red. I mean, you really think they're ahead of their time. This is like the Donruss now doing the color parallels, but this is just a set of all the way. It would have been nice if they would have matched each set to their actual team. That would have been sweet. The purple Tim Wallach. I like the purples. Don Madeline, the Tim Wallach. I think Kirby Puckett was purple. Like I said, we're not going to count the 88s in there for this, so 89. So now 1989, we got Tops, Fleer, and Donruss, but also we do have the score still around. Upper Deck jumped into the mix, and 89 Bowman came out. 89 Bowman was big. So, Tops won 88. So, we'll start off with 89 Donruss. So, everyone knows what you're looking for in 89. You're looking for the Griffey. That'd be sweet to pull a Griffey. Like I said, we'd, we'd want to save it for the 89 Upper Deck pack. So, here we go. These colors look pretty good. You see the same backs. The honor should just stick into what works for them. Are they all pretty much stuck to what worked for them? Oh, there's Tony Gwynn, Diamond King. That's a sweet little card. Bill Long. I like how they switch the colors up a little bit. I mean, really, this is the last set before they went all 90 style with all their Donruss and they went super colorful with the Fleer, Don, all that stuff went super colorful. And so we'll go to the 89 tops. We'll save the 89 Fleer for last. So 89 tops. So you got Randy Johnson, your rookie. There's a Rob Deere gum sticking to him. Yep, that's just going to stay. Let's see what we got there. The backs are a little different on these ones, so they did finally switch up the back. Oh, that's sticking too. They did finally switch up the backs there. Let's see what we get out of here. Oh, get my infra cheat sheets. So 89 tops. This is a 792 card set. Didn't have, they didn't do the Griffey. So we do have John Smoltz. There's Adele Murphy. Mike Greenwell, he was big back then. Ivan Calderon. There's a Greg Maddox for the Cubs. Andy Benes, he was big back then. That was a huge card. That was a really good card to have. Mike Greenwell, all-star. So nothing big out of there. And there's that design. Like I said, they just switched it up a little bit there. Oh, that's a rookie card. So that's on. But um, it just went a little more different color sets. Let's see, grab this 88 tops. So, just a little more highlighting and stuff like that. More boxy. I don't really like the 88 tops packs. Yeah, you know, I tossed them. This pretty clean card. Just white borders, top symbol, big old Padres label. It's got this little wave here. Not too bad. And last, in our wax pack bottle, 89 Fleer. So, what's big about the 89 Fleer? Look at the backs on those. The same backs we've seen over and over again with the Fleer. Is the air cards, and obviously you can get the rookie here, but uh, a lot of people, you know, Billy Ripken, everyone knows about the Billy Ripken card. 
Also, the Randy Johnson's a big one. And there's a couple other ones that are kind of have some value to them. Uh, we'll see. Like Jeff Treadway, he's got some pretty good value. There's Dennis Martinez when he was at the Expos. It's a cool little card. Well, there's a Joe Girardi. Didn't even notice that. Cubs rookie card. Chris Brown. Buddy Bell. Dave Stive. Look at the... Look at how that card got cut. That's not good. Mike Gallagher. Gary Gaetti and Red R.J. Reynolds. I guess I read those backwards. So, that's sort of a nice, pretty nice looking card. Let's see. 89. I'd have to give it to... Ugh. I don't know, those are all, I don't know, I'm not worried about it, 89 is not going to win the, for the whole, the whole, whole thing, so, we'll have to say, ah, uh, between me, all three of those are pretty much the same, they all have the really good points, the colors on the 89 Donruss are cool, the pictures on the 89 Tops are nice, the backs on the 89 Tops are bad, nice, the 89 Flare I really like, that they tried something different there, I mean, their production was pretty poor, so, we'll have to ding them on that, so we'll give it to 89 tops so 88 tops 89 tops 86 don russ 87 fleer where our big guys we'll have go through and decide who our big winner is it's going to be between 86 and 87 i'll tell you that right now here's the 89 score pack a year to remember there's a bo jackson that's cool 1975 that's a nice good year this kid's dramatic home run this is when he was waving his home run fair i believe was 1975 there's a bo jackson not sure if you can catch i'm sure that's on youtube somewhere Let's see we're almost up to 30 minutes oh there's a greg jeffries it's a nice blast from the past jeff hamilton so we'll get into this 89 bowman real quick and then we'll save the what i think what probably everyone thinks is the best the 89 don russ i mean they really changed the game this is kind of interesting when these first came out i remember Buying these, and you're like, whoa, these are huge. Big, big, big cards. It's kind of cool how they stuck, you know, hey, this is what Bowman looked like back then, so that's what we're going to do. This is the only year they did that, though. They do have this. It just kind of makes it harder. There's a Brett Butler, Terry Steinbach. So, really, we're looking. This does have the Griffey in there. Uh, it also has the Sheffield. Tino Martinez is in here. There's a Harold Baines. So, that's cool. Jeff Reardon. There's a Ryan Sandberg. I think it's, it's a nice looking card. Danny Tartable. There's a John Smoltz. That's a nice card. That's his rookie year, I believe. 89. Bowman. Brett Saberhagen. Here's the backs of these. It's kind of cool how they went to the stats against each team. How they did that that year. Brett Saberhagen. He had a good career. Had some good years anyways. The Roy Satchel page. This is just a Bowman answer, but they show you some of the old original Bowman cards. Dave Stewart. It's a nice looking card. He had some nice seasons with the A's. Andres Thomas. Ken Phelps. Todd Worrell. Was that Bruce Ruff? Ruffin. And Harold Reynolds. Uh, not too bad. Got the Glavin out of there. So our luck really dried up after 87. <laughs> but let's see. Like I said, I hope we saved it all just for this pack here. So we got some 89 upper deck. So Al Lighter. So there actually is an air card. Oh, I was wrong. I'm thinking of the wrong thing. Oh, that's right. These go back and forth. So Al Lighter. Uh, Eddie Murray. It's a cool looking card. So this is the 89 upper deck. This is what switches all this. Thicker card stock, these pictures, a little hologram. Picture on the back. I mean, this was, these are the premium cards back then. You paid a premium price back then, too. They were like twice or three times as much as a normal pack. So it wasn't like you were, these were just like better. These were also more expensive. So in terms of buying like Tops Chrome and Tops, you're expecting them to be better. So Cecil Fielder, Floyd Young, there's a Gary Sheffield rookie card. I love this card back then. That was a nice card. Jose Gigius, Mickey Hatcher, there's a Walt Weiss, he was a huge rookie, I mean, look, AL Rookie of the Year, so that was, he was a big prospect, or a big, I shouldn't say prospect, he was hot back then, Daryl Evans, Al Leiter, 
So there you go. Went through all the 80, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90, call the, or 89 cards that came out. Our big ones were 86 and 87. We, uh, and uh, I guess apparently that's also the big rookies. So we pulled this Jose Canseco. In 87, we pulled this Maddox, Larkin, Bonds, and a Bond. So realistically, I mean, we pulled all the top really valued cards except for like the Randy Johnson error card from 89 Fleer. I have to go with so our big I'll say eighty I say have to be between eighty six Donruss and eighty seven Fleer. So here we go fronts, the backs, the front, the backs. I'm gonna have to go with eighty six Donruss. I mean I really like the eighty seven Fleer design. I just don't like the backs of them that much. So eighty six Donruss wins because of the backs. Let me know if you agree. Let me know what you thought the top card I picked out of here was. And what you thought was also the top set. Hey, as always, thanks for watching and sticking around. Have a great day and good luck.